video is for FM341. It will walk you through how to import your Stripe or Plaid that you've created in Photoshop into Illustrator. So once you have saved your file, either as a Plaid or the Stripe, to your desktop, you can open up the Plaid template file that I posted on Blackboard. And on the Layers palette, make sure that it's open so you can see what you have. I actually have quite a, already have a Plaid uh, input into the file. And so do a file place. And in this case, I have a plaid that I'll bring in. And I have a file stripe. And I'll bring both of those in. So because this is a yarn dye woven, uh, and this would be woven on a loom, you would want to set up the pitch sheet so that you show the color chips for the actual uh, stripes in the warp and for the filling. So for each of these colors, you can easily select each swatch, then use the I key on your keypad, which is the eyedropper, and you can quickly change each of the colors to what they should be. Now you'll notice that there are um, nine colors in the repeat. However, they're being formed by the three colors in the warp crossing the same three colors in the filling. Usually for colors that I have as white, I will do a black outline just so we can see what the color swatch is. In order to bring the plaid or the stripe into the swatch palette so you can fill your sketch, I'll open up swatches. And I have to remove this X in order to be able to bring it into the, the swatch palette. So I'll make a copy of that. The easiest way to do that is to uh, hold down the Option key and left click and drag a copy away. Then come up to the top and go to Object, come down to Rasterize, click OK. You can resize the plaid to what you want it to be. And you can drag it in to the swatches, and then you can go ahead and fill your pattern into the sketch. Here we go. If you were doing the stripe, you would go about it the same way. And you have the color set up. You would not need the weft. You could just select those and delete those because this would just be formed by the three colors in the warp. Again, in order to bring it into your swatch palette, make a copy. Go to Object, Rasterize, click OK, resize your stripe, And you can drag it into your swatch palette and you can fill with the stripe. So thank you very much. This is Professor Higdon. If you have any questions, you can please email me. Thank you.